Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda. I am the Scraptastic Crocheter. And as you can see, I have bought some more yarn. Uh, this is a hobby haul. And I bought all of this uh, during the Black Week sale. That is still ongoing for another two days, I think. So if there's anything in here that you see that you like, you might be able to get your hands on it. So I bought this with my own money and not sponsored video. I love Hobby. It's a Danish company and they ship internationally, I think, more or less worldwide. I haven't looked into that in any specifics, but I live in Sweden, so shipping to me is very fast. Um, sometimes I can even get more or less like next day delivery. Um, not this time because, well, Black Week a lot of orders are being placed, so it did take a little longer than I'm used to, but I'm not complaining because this is the season of people buying yarn and great sales, so I'm not at all mad about it. Um, I know that some of you wait months to get your hobby deliveries, and um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to complain, that's uh, just what I'm going to say. So what did I get and then um, we're just gonna dig into it I already opened the package um, but we have here rainbow eight ply sock wool this is 75% wool and 25% polyamide and it says here that's the eight ply and uh, 100 grams 210 meters so that's 3.5 ounces 229 yards three weight washable not dryable um, three and a half to four millimeter crochet hook four millimeter uh, knitting needles this is color 31 and maybe you are appreciating my lighting now <laughs> i did get a ring light as an early Christmas present so hopefully my lighting from now on is going to be a lot better than uh, in my previous videos. I have a plan for this wool uh, but I'm going to show you some more first and then I'm going to tell you about it. We have another one. Let's move that to the side. Put that one there, you might be able to see it still a little bit. We have a green one, exact same um, yarn, and this is color 23, so it's a green color, nice together. And next up we have yellow, 28 is the color number for this bright yellow, also a gorgeous color. Here we have pink. We have pink number 36. And I am purposely going for these ones because uh, I know I have a couple of them and I'm feeling it. So 18 for this bright blue color, gorgeous. Let's see there, purple. Now we have purple number 39, and uh, am I missing one? I think I am. Let's see if I can find it. Here we have, oh, ball band is uh, broken, doesn't matter. 32. I'm sorry about my thumb. Uh, it's a little bit in, well, irritated, let's say that. So 32 is this red color. So what am I going to do with these? Well, this one's not a part of this project. Uh, it was a case of buying multiple to get a better discount. So I got some extra and the discount was better. And that's as easy as it can get. Here we have, of course, rainbow sock wool in a rainbow matter and this is going to be socks or slippers or something along those lines and um, some mittens or gloves 
in pride colors. So we're doing rainbow garments for Christmas. And this is um, an order I got, so I have to get going with this fairly soon, so it's done in time for Christmas. And as some of you might know already, I am not um, very compatible with wool since I do get allergic reactions. So I will be uh, taking some allergy meds and I will get this done as fast as possible. But I couldn't say no to the project itself because I thought it was so cute and I don't like acrylics for or cottons for socks and gloves or mittens. So that's just how it's gonna be. And this is just a bonus for me that I don't know what to do with. So I'm gonna put those to the side and then we're gonna get into the more special stuff. I'm just gonna pull out of the bag. Let's see, is there anything? Oh, I can go for these first, because they're small. Oh, I got the, um, let's see. I know there's one more in here somewhere. Maybe. Oh, there it is. So, I have three of these. I think they were like not limited edition, more of like they want to get rid of the last few of these that they had. I don't know if they're going to come back in stock because it felt like the colors were was very limited. So, I'm thinking that they're just going to not continue to have these. Uh, these are Mayflower Cotton 8 Junior and these are what you say 8-4. Um, um, I think it's a super fine or fine but I got these. This is a brown color and these bright greens uh, 50 grams 170 meters uh, washable recommended needles and uh, crochet hook is two and a half millimeter to three I am just not very good with house plants or plants at all they keep dying so I wanted to get some more green colors and some brown for soil and my plan is to make some plants to keep in my windows. I did have, or I do have, some other green colors in my stash that I felt like some more wouldn't hurt and I did not have any brown and these were really cheap so why not. Uh, so that's that. I'm just gonna pull it out. Here we have black Friday limited edition colors uh, cotton cape 100% cotton hobby's own um, creation and this is just fine to weight 200 grams 800 meters and they recommend three and a half to four millimeter crochet hook I think I use these yarns very much these are the four strands that's just, you hold them together, they're not twisted together. Uh, I use anything from two and a half millimeter up to a four and a half millimeter. I think I have even tried two millimeters. So it just depends on what you're gonna do with it. It's washable, they don't recommend drying, so dry flat. And this QR code usually takes you to, to the page where you can find these. The color 09, and this is just a limited edition color. We have bright orange, and I would say like a raspberry pinkish red color. It looks more red on the web page, and the uh, orange does not look as bright. We have a bright blue and a more navy blue. It's just gorgeous. So this is one of the colors. That I picked. I have more, but my son picked this one, and uh, it's going to be really fun to make something for him out of this. Not sure what yet, but we'll see. But look at the colors, and in the lighting now, I'm so happy about this cake. 
I can't say orange is a favorite color of mine because it's not. It's one of my least favorite colors. But sometimes you just get colors that's not your favorite and you get surprised. I did get surprised this time. Really happy about that. So next we have, uh, trying to find something. Ooh, let's go for, for, I did get this out and open this also. I did get some other things, not just yarn. Uh, I have, um, I am a Hobie Plus member. So this was my free gift this time. It's um, knitting gauge and like knitting needle measure tool, which I don't have any use for since I only crochet. Uh, and crochet hooks is not good to measure in this because the heads can sometimes be larger or have a shape that doesn't fit through here but it's not the head of the hook that's supposed to be measured so yeah it doesn't work very good stitch markers like this is i think it was 100 stitch markers and uh, cute case very affordable uh, very happy about that you can never have enough stitch markers I have some stitch markers that I bought a few years ago and the plastic starts to get like dry and fragile and I have had some break on me so needed more. A row counter. The Hobie style row counter is going to be really interesting to see how that one works. It's a digital one and I don't have any uh, digital. I have some other ones from before. Did I get anything? Yes, I did get shawl fins. Uh, these are two different sizes. They are very similar, but there are difference in the sizing. This is also a good sale price, so I'm happy with that. And move them back here. I did get the crochet journal. Uh, I've been looking at this for so long I thought it was too pricey and now it was discounted so yeah I got it this is the type where you have you can put out all the information about your project and then you have this um, dotted like bullet journal style paper so you can basically just draw up what you're thinking or planning or whatever and then yeah notes i just i'm not very good at keeping like remembering everything about my projects because i do a lot of them so i figured it's cool to have something you know to remember it by or especially like hook size what hook size for what pattern or also like was there something i should have done differently i can always put notes like that like next time use a bigger hook or next time use a smaller hook or you know anything like that it's really it's really cute so all of the pages look the same well first page here you can put your own information but other than that it's the same I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that or yeah I don't know it's I'm gonna use it that's for sure so more yarn next yarn next cake look at the colors this is also black friday cotton cake limited edition color in what i would say close to a rainbow but not a rainbow we're starting with a military dark green and then we have this neon green neon yellow neon pink bright blue and also a more navy blue and if you put them side by side I don't know if you can tell the difference but it's not the same colors or maybe this one is more of a purple and uh, this one's maybe more of a blue but the pink is different this one's more neony this blue is brighter and this is of more of a blue blue and this is more almost a black blue 
can you tell the difference on these? Maybe you can see it better like that. That there is a difference. You could probably work them together without a problem. Uh, not very noticeable. But if you wanted to match, uh, neither of the colors do match. This is, yeah, more raspberry red and this is more of a hot pink. So, awesome colors. Oh, and color number eight. So, nine and eight. Mm, another one of the Black Friday limited edition cotton cakes. And this we have color number six. Here we have black, dark purple, and I'm not sure if I would say that this is, um, yeah, it's a purple, but it's not lavender. It's a more blue of purple. We have a minty green, and then there's a bit of white, and then we're popping into this pink. Uh, and I don't think there's any other colors in there. I was looking, because some of the cakes um, sometimes are like, two different colors but very very similar I've seen that in other cakes and I did look also in this orange I don't I don't think that there's a different orange here I think it's just one shade of orange um, and same here only pink but it's not a pinkish pink it's a little bit of a lavenderish pink which is really pretty I did take a long time to decide on what colors I wanted and I did have these two um, that I was like I want those two but I had so many difficult <laughs> twists and turn in what yarn to pick so I did decide these two very early on um, as I said my son picked that one so that is that what else do we have here Oh, we do have another limited edition, not Black Friday. I did get two. These are the Halloween Universe and uh, Zombie Planet, I think is what they are calling it. And I did regret not getting these with my Halloween haul. But you can't have everything at all times, and these were 50% off now, so I picked them up as well. <laughs> if you haven't tried Universe before, it's a super fine number one, 98% acrylic, 2% polyester. These are 100 grams, 462 meters. That's 35 ounces and 505 yards. They recommend knitting needles, three to three and a half millimeters, and crochet hook size, uh, three and a half millimeter and it's washable but they don't recommend drying it and um, the color is 03 um, but they it's called zombie planet can you see the sparkles the sparkles is what the polyester is and it's a purple sparkle and this neon uh, green and then a, there's a couple of darker greens we have this very bright purple and then there is some black spots in between it is a gorgeous yarn and um, a friend of mine purchased it and made a virus shawl and when I saw how it worked up for her I wanted it uh, even more <laughs> so now I have my own but I don't think I'm gonna do a virus shawl because she did that so I have to find another pattern but I do promise that as a virus shawl it is a very very nice uh, look so I have to think about what I'm gonna do with those I think there's only one thing left in here and no I did not get a candy I'm sorry but we do have another limited edition yarn and this is a twister cake and Twister is 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. And uh, we have fine uh, to weight 250 grams and 1,000 meters. They recommend anything from a 3 millimeter 
knitting needle up to four millimeters in both crochet hooks and knitting needles, but um, crochet hook three and a half to four millimeter. So yeah, it's fairly similar to the other yarns thickness wise. And you can wash it, but not tumble dry. This is the color one and the colors we have orange and purples and black. And this one is, I did say that earlier with the color changes, sometimes you don't really even see it. We start here with a light orange, but it does go over to a darker orange. Here you can see a mix of both of them, light and dark. So the transition is very, very smooth up until you start with the purple and the purple will definitely show when it mixes in with the orange or gold, golden orange. You can see that this very popping orange next to it makes this one look pretty neutral. <laughs> but then we have this purple and then it goes over to a very dark purple before it actually turns over to the black. So also here we have very smooth gradient transitions. So here with the purple and the orange is a very poppy um, transition and I think it's going to be fairly slow fading between the two purples, but you will definitely see them. So I'm really looking forward to work with this yarn. I have never had Twister before. and. Um, other than what I ordered, like the, the special order of the wool yarn and the very, very cheap cotton yarn, all of these are limited edition colors. And I got, I, I basically said to myself, because I can't buy all yarn just because I want it, that I buy limited edition that is probably only going to be available now. Uh, of course, they usually have them until they run out of them, but that was my, like, I can get the special ones. And uh, after that, maybe I could get something else, but right now I just felt like these are so special um, and I can only get them during a limited time. Most of the Hopi yarns usually come uh, as sale objects during the year like there's one month um, or there's a sale every month and there's always one yarn that is uh, a lot cheaper closer to 50 percent and sometimes it's the twister or sometimes it's the sultan yarn which is basically similar to this um, these types of cake with cotton yarn or there can be uh, Sultan Deluxe, which is a yarn that I've been looking at a lot, that I did look at buying now. But as, like, I can't buy everything because I can't use it up uh, as fast as I buy the yarn. So I figured I'd need to go through my stash a bit more before I buy yarn again. That's what I'm planning. Um, you never know. But since these, like, I was lucky, I thought that this color was going to be, like, out at this point, because it's so gorgeous. Uh, I know that there's some yarns of these from Halloween, or some colors that's already uh, out of stock, and I don't think that they're going to come back until maybe next Halloween. And maybe they might not come back then, because there might be new colors. As far as I know, Universe Halloween yarn was not a part of the Halloween collection last year so I think this was a totally new addition to the Halloween collection of yarns. I'm very happy about that. Maybe next year there's going to be another um, type of yarn uh, or new colors and stuff like that so I'm, I'm always looking forward to these limited edition Black Friday and Halloween especially. The Christmas yarns, yes, they are also very cheap right now, and they are very pretty, and I'm just 
saying these talk to me a lot louder than Christmas. So this is all I got. Let's see, can I squeeze some more of it in? Try and reach all of them. And uh, let's see, can we squeeze them in the camera? I don't know if I can, maybe. I'm trying to see what my camera is showing. But, um, think you can see most of it, right? And of course, yeah, the two extras of these ones. And all my notions. Not to forget, so sticking that to the side somewhere. Uh, no, <laughs> you can't see it on that side, but you know it's here. So I do recommend you to check out Hobby if you have not done that, and that's just out of pure how much I love their yarns, and also the fact that their Black Wheel Week sale has not ended yet. I think 30th of November is the date set for when they're closing down this huge sale. So yeah, that's just a personal recommendation that it's my favorite yarn. That's as easy as it is. Definitely not sponsored. Honest opinion. So thank you very, very much if you have seen all of this with me. And uh, I am very happy now that I have this ring light. That my light is going to be a lot better. Which also means I can record at any time of day. Which gives me a lot more opportunity to be able to do uh, videos in as good quality as I can. And I have plans for a lot of crochet related videos in the near future. So thank you very much for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you back here again soon. Thank you very much and bye bye.